like it's bathroom like. Loki feel like I'm ruining my room the whole time. I kind of hate it. I kind of think it looks cool. I don't know. Good morning, cow. It's such a beautiful day today. Complete 180 from yesterday. I'm gonna continue the room video today, but I think I'm gonna paint. I'm a little nervous about it. <sighs> the wallpaper was just such a fail. Did not like that wallpaper. It is so cold out there. It's in the 30s. I couldn't believe that. While I was failing at the wallpaper yesterday, um, Olivia was rough cutting some of the Atlanta Treehouse video. I had started it and then I had her do some of it. So I'll watch through now because I'm trying to get that up this weekend while I simultaneously do this room video, which I feel like is taking kind of longer than I expected because I need to now paint. I feel like I kind of lost a day like yesterday. It didn't turn out super productive because of that wallpaper. I just went through the treehouse video and I basically made notes of stuff that Olivia can add as I'm doing the other video today. I wish I had time to edit this one because I really was like excited to edit it, but I'm like, I'm feeling a little bit stressed on a time crunch. I'm like so excited to be doing this room makeover video. This is literally my favorite type of stuff to do. Like this is what I would do on a random Sunday just with my free time is paint my room like i think this stuff is so fun so i'm so grateful that i have i'm essentially getting paid to do like my my favorite stuff make a video about a room makeover i am on more of a time crunch um because the brand in it has to get the video up a bit sooner which totally makes sense because it's like all about the holidays most of the brands want to make sure they're getting stuff up like well before the holiday season like before thanksgiving really so that's what i'm trying to do and i'm i'm also like i hope it turns out good i'm i'm not sure at this point i'm like okay i definitely need to do the lime wash just to make it more bold and something different i know it's kind of silly to do this when i'm not going to renew my lease here and i have like five months left but to be honest it's really not that hard to paint something back to white it will take me like a few hours one day so i think it'll be worth it for the video's sake and i'm also like i think it's good practice for lime wash because i think it's something i'd probably want to do again in the future so the first time is never like your best at these things <laughs> I found I also need to like get different curtains and decor pieces for the bookshelf Originally, I thought I would have this video done by Thursday It doesn't need to go up till the 19th So I think I'm gonna need a little bit of time next week to get it all sorted I'm having such a hard time staying positive today about this like room makeover video I think because I am on a time deadline I'm just stressed it's not gonna turn out good and I'm gonna be like I can't upload this like I, I simply I can't upload it if it's bad but I need to have something I decided I want to just finish something today for it I actually found like a faux lime wash paint tutorial Olivia found it so I'm like maybe I can make something work there I'm gonna research it more tonight and attempt it tomorrow today we are trying to finish the bookcase I am running into this weird issue of like I have all these parts on right but there's a gap kind of a big gap and I tried these pieces are a little bit too tall I tried sanding them down still no luck it actually kind of looks no different um, my dad was kind of just saying it's plywood so it'll bend so to just screw it in but to get some like T clamps or something like that to hold so let's just go to the hardware store really quick so I can get something to like hold them in place, maybe reinforce it a little more. I'm starting to just feel like screw it with the pocket holes. Like I kind of just want to nail it in, you know? See, the holes are like not that discreet. If I had just nailed in the bottom or like for these ones, rather than screwing in the pocket holes because they're kind of messed up, can I just nail it, you know? I don't know, I might. I really thought this was going to be like a really fun project, but I am finding everything to be more difficult than I expected. <laughs> okay, but let's go to the hardware store. Okay, I'm like getting stressed about this video now. 
so they don't have the lime wash paint here it's not in stock they don't even have the primer for it so i can't get started i'm really just worried this isn't gonna turn out and i'm on a time crunch so i'm like it, it has to turn out good <laughs> I'm back and I got these corner braces. My dad told me to try this basically so that I can at least get these like straight because right now they're pretty wobbly. I need to just get them. That one wants to go that way, but this is the front side. We gotta do the back side. Okay, I'm trying to make this a bit stronger and less wobbly. So I put one of these little corner brackets. <laughs> I just want to finish it one way or another and hopefully it will look halfway decent. Okay, things are looking up. I finally got this to kind of work. I got all the pocket holes in. I figured out I was just using the drill wrong. I had to set the clutch to more of like 15 when it was on one. And so the pocket hole screws went in all the way. No more gap except for like a tiny one. But this is all so much more secure. And honestly, it's such a win that this is the first time I've done this like whole pocket hole thing. And I was so nervous that I was accidentally going to have the screws poke out of the top, but none of them did, thankfully, because I like triple checked, making sure that I wasn't like screwing it too much or the stop color or whatever. But yeah, let's continue. I think I feel good. I feel like I can finish this today. Okay, popped open a LaCroix to celebrate it looking better. Now let's continue. So we're gonna make the second row now and Olivia's gonna be real shots of this. got it pretty much all together. I did run out of pocket screws. So each of these only has one screw and this is not attached at all yet, but I put it in place just to see how it looks. And here's how it looks. I still need to put some wood conditioner on it. It turned out okay. It has some flaws. I learned a lot. I think it'll look pretty good in the space because you're only ever going to see it from like this angle. So you can't tell that these are not spaced super well. So I'm putting these little corner brackets on the back just because i feel like it needs it <laughs> pre-drilling some holes for them because otherwise the screw just will not go in oh my god the drill gets so hot i did not realize it just burned my hand a little bit Imagine that gotta put this drill bit on and let's do it these are just like really small little screws all right, it's 5 p.m. and it's dark out. A little bit lighter because of the sunset tonight. But I gotta take Cal home now. I don't want to. Oh. I'm thinking now that I have the bookcase almost finished, assembled at least, I'll get some stuff to decorate it. I'm gonna stop by CB2 and see if there's anything that would look good. And I ordered new curtains. I think it's gonna come together. I just realized it's kind of sad. I returned Cal when um, neither Monica or Jason was home. So he's probably all excited and then was like, what? But they'll be home soon. Anyway, let's go return these curtains. I returned the curtains and the ones I actually got, I ended up getting that are a better match for the rug are from Amazon and they're like way cheaper actually. So hopefully they look good. They're kind of a bold color, you guys will see. But I did get a sheet set. This is um, from Crate and Barrel Linen. Like, look at that fabric. Look at that texture. I bought the cheapest duvet and sheets when I moved into this apartment. And they make me so hot at night, I've noticed. And linen is supposed to be... Oh, wait, this is natural hemp. But it seems... Okay, well, we'll see. Hopefully, it's breathable. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym really quick. I have a lot to do today in regards to the room makeover. Just literally like 20 minutes in the gym. 
I think I can make the time for it. I did not go the last two days and I really, I literally had a dream that I worked out. So it's like, my body's like, you need to, you need to get some, some more movement and some rigorous activity. While I'm there, I'm actually gonna look at the fake lime wash paint tutorials so I make sure that I do this like properly. I'm like nervous about it. I really hope it turns out. I'll push out the end there. That workout got me feeling so good. Literally only 20 minutes, but better than nothing. So now we're doing a really quick little 15 minute makeup challenge so I can run to the hardware store and get the stuff. Somehow the style of this room like really evolved from what I first thought it would look like. I remember I showed you guys like a little photoshopped image, but because of the rug choice, I ended up going with this more of like a burnt orange theme, which I just, I don't know, like orange isn't like my favorite color or anything. I honestly wouldn't have expected that but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't want it to be too much orange. Like I don't want it to be too matchy matchy because I've seen places that really mix and match with patterns and textures and colors. And I feel like it's kind of tricky, but it can look good. Once I get to painting, I think this will be really fun. Like once I'm painting and I know it's turning out good, then I'll be like, okay, this is fun. I'm heading to Palm Springs soon and I'm so excited because I haven't been since I don't know, the springtime? I haven't been in so long. I think the ficus trees are gonna be huge probably. Just gonna do a little trip with a couple friends, which will be so fun. And I'm gonna take measurements for this potential bathroom renovation I'm planning. So I know you guys miss like the renovation content, but stay tuned because I might be renovating a bathroom in Palm Springs. And it will be kind of like me and my dad DIYing it. If we end up doing this, not really hiring contractors because I feel like I've gotten some practice with the tile work and my dad knows how to do all the other stuff so I can kind of learn from him. <laughs> it's so funny too because I know people are going to comment like my Airbnb haters, people that hate on my Airbnb. They're going to be like, why are you redoing the bathroom? That's like not worth the return on the investment blah 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 like people always say this stuff and i'm like because i'm not a slumlord airbnb owner like i don't buy the cheap shit for my airbnb i buy like nice furniture because i want it to be a nice experience that i like and i'm always looking for ways that i can make it better and i really think this bathroom renovation would just make it like oh. and i just really want to do it the fact that i can get content out of it makes it very worth it. If I didn't do YouTube, it wouldn't really be worth it to do the bathroom renovation. I'm going for it. Like, I'm not like, ugh, gotta redo the bathroom. I'm like, yes, we're gonna redo the bathroom. Like, time to pick all the finishes. All right, let's go pick out the paints. I think I'm just gonna copy one I saw online. Picking paint colors can be so hard. Yeah, let's go. Look at the holiday vibes here. Love to see all these lights. I love Pioneer Square. It feels like New York. It's so pretty. You can buy a pineapple plant. That's insane. That is insane. All right, I got three different paint colors, a sponge and a pretty big brush. We're gonna try and blend them all together and do that limestone effect. Now this should be fun if it goes well. I am back from Home Depot this time. I got three different paint colors. This one is called Baja. It's like a dark-ish beige. A sponge to blend everything. Drop cloth. Some rags to actually put the wood conditioner on my bookshelf. And then I got white paint and a lighter beige to blend it all. So hopefully get that limestone effect. So you can see this one's like that color beige. A little lighter and white and then hopefully it will do the trick. I also was able to find more of the little pocket hole screws so I can secure the top part of my bookshelf because it is not secure at all. So let's do that really quickly. I'm just wiping it all down with some water now. Everything is attached and then I'm gonna put wood conditioner on it after it dries. But this is just gonna like try and clean off any like sawdust that's on it before. And look at the color already. Like it's gonna really pop when I put that 
wood conditioner on. Okay, I wiped it down. Now it's drying and then I'll put the wood conditioner on it a little later. Okay, we just moved my bed and everything over to get ready to paint. Oh my, I'm nervous. I figured this was a good opportunity to vacuum. Prepping the area, gotta put down the drop pods. All right, got the room prepped. Basically, I just put the plastic drop cloth down and I put the tape all around it because I really do not want to get it all on the baseboards or anything or my headboard, none of that, nope. It's just about noon. I actually have to get on a call and look normal at 1 p.m. So we'll start, but <laughs> we'll have to pause fairly quickly into it. So I've seen a few different ways that you can do this technique. So I'm just gonna try out a bunch of them. We've got three different shades and I'm kind of just gonna be blending them together. I'm starting at the bottom for my test area because my bed covers this area anyways. So if we mess up, it's not a huge deal. So for the first technique, I'm gonna try basically getting some of the paint on both sides here, like so. And then we're gonna get a bit of water and we're gonna paint in an X motion. So the large brush, it honestly just looks like normal paint. It blended a little too much, but the smaller brush, I actually am seeing more of the texture. So that's kind of cool. Okay guys, so I did two different techniques and this is the one with the sponge, which I think you see the texture a little more. This is still more wet. Um, this is more dry and it looks like more of the white is showing through. I kind of like the sponge te texture better. Like this one is showing just, it's a little too light but also it's just drier. I mean, we'll see as they dry. Okay guys, I have to actually get on a call. So I've been painting for like 40 minutes. I think this is a good time to pause, let everything dry and see what I think moving forward. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I'm like, I kind of hate it. I kind of think it looks cool. I don't know. So here is how it looks right now. Over here is where I use the sponge technique and this is the part I'm kind of hating. Down here is much more subtle and this was just with the paintbrush in two different colors. And as this started to dry, I was like, oh hell no, I do not like it. And so I continued this technique. We'll see how it all dries. I really think like I can do a second coat over this area to blend it and make it look more like the other part. This whole video, I'm like, low-key feel like I'm ruining my room the whole time, but hopefully it will turn out. I'm usually better at this stuff, really. Okay, guys, I just finished the call and it's it was only 10 minutes long, so it doesn't look that different, but I'm definitely, I think, affirming that I like this side better. It's just much, much more subtle, but there is some texture there. Like the colors are slightly different. So I think tomorrow I'll have to go over that part. But for now, let's um, finish the rest of the first coat of the wall. Okay, got some up there, brought the ladder in. Here is how it's looking. I'm feeling better about it. We'll see how it looks with my bed. I think it'll be cool because my bed is like very light colored so it sort of blended into the white wall but now it will like pop a little more okay we will let this dry okay now we will put this wood conditioner on here hope it makes it shine you guys we just put everything back in place Thank God I have Olivia here because I could not move this furniture myself. And I'm so relieved because I think it actually looks good. <laughs> like I'm actually excited. I just put the table lamps in the rug and like I need to switch up the bedding. But I think it looks good. Oh, I want to give you guys a sneak peek, but I want you to watch the video. Oh. I put the bookshelf in place and it perfectly fits one of the old nightstand lights and this room needs more lamps. And I did order some stuff to pick up to decorate this a little more so we can go get that. And then the projector will project stuff above it. Okay, so this bedding, it's just plain white and it was like literally $300. Like, I feel like if I'm just gonna have plain white bedding, it might as well be from Target. I mean, it's nice. It's definitely a nice fabric, but maybe linen, you know? But also that's kind of linen. Would it be too matchy? I don't know about the full white. I definitely need to do something with this bed styling. I might get like a dark blue quilt to bring another color in. This bookshelf is gonna be an awesome little vlogging ledge for me. Love that. Making the rest of that soup I had the other day. 
Now that my room is looking cool, the rest of my apartment is like really slacking. It's kind of a mess. I have this soup and then I have some stuff to pick up from CB2 that are like decor for the bookshelf and like a throw pillow that I found online. And I might return that bedding because I'm like, I don't know. It's just plain white. Monica and I are FaceTiming. Biggest freaking purchase of my life. I'm trying to make sure I'm like... We just booked flights to South Africa. Oh. Crazy, right? I'll explain. Heading to U Village to get the last little decor pieces. I also think I need like different bedding, but I might just hit up Target tomorrow and see what they have. Okay, I popped into CB2 really quick to see if they had a good quilt to really make the bed feel complete. I was gonna return that bedding and then I just didn't. I was like, ah, uh, I feel like it actually will look good. And they had a quilt on sale over 50% off that was exactly what I wanted. I literally, I didn't even know it was on sale until I was at the register and it's just been a great day. It's been great. I feel like everything worked out. Let's not jinx it. Knock on wood. Love that my car has a little bit of that. I'm back from CB2. Yeah, I went there to go return this bedding and get a different shade, but then I, I was like, actually want to keep the white. I think linen would be too dark, but I got this quilt because um, I really like the setup they have where it's like a duvet and then the quilt. I'll show you guys how it looks. Does this mean it's machine washable? Because I would like to wash it. Okay. I haven't washed the duvet yet because I was going to return it, but I'll wash it. But I don't want to like actually use it yet. Ooh, cozy. <gasps> I love, 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 love. This is going to be nice. Imagine that's actually tucked in nicely. They had it like tucked in well. I also got a throw pillow that I think is gonna tie in with kind of the navy. So I'm going with, obviously I have the like the burnt orange. Obviously it's a different color, but it's not too far off from the general theme. Here is the pillows pattern. It's got kind of like a velvety texture. I love the mix and match pattern trend. I've seen a lot of places do this where there's different colors and different patterns and it somehow still all looks good. So obviously we have checkerboard here, but this is going to be on the bed and it's just, I think it'll look good because it's far enough away from that. And then the blue kind of ties in and yeah. <laughs> It's giving luxury hotel. <laughs> I'm picking up some of the other little decor pieces, or I'm not picking up, unboxing some of the decor pieces from CB2 for the bookshelf. I already did some of them, I just have two left. I'll show you what it is, I won't show you its style yet. It is a little pillar candle holder, really cool stone texture. It's a little paper candle holder that's like a knot. I think this is really cool looking. But yeah, lots of little candle holders and things just put on the bookshelf. 